Hey, it's great to see you back. When we last left off, on November 18th, Cyrax was playing Hogwarts Legacy. But I think that's enough for an intro, don't you? The next day, on November 12th, Cyrax would go live again with a stream called Asphalt 9 Legends Ranked Races. What is up, what is up, what is up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I figured I would do just a chill stream with you guys, have some fun. Do some ranked races on Asphalt 9 Legends, man. Just coming in, having a fun time, and chilling, dude. If any of you think that this is funny, you're not welcome on this channel. Hey, General, hey, General Chimichanga. You like eating them Chimichangas for breakfast, bruh? Is that why you named yourself that? Are you the general owner of Chimichangas? Yeah, so you might want to let Deadpool know, man, because Deadpool loves them chimichangas, boy. Shout out, Ryan Reynolds. After that, there was nothing worth watching from that stream. Nothing. Nothing else came from that day either, but on November 13th, Cyrax would go live, fuming on kick, in a stream called Addressing the Fake Metalcore Mania Channel. Good morning, everybody. Um, I do have something that needs to be brought up that I am going to be speaking about. And that is the fake channel that is not me, which I'm going to paste it right here in the comments. What I need everybody to do, okay? I need everybody to do this because there is a fake Metalcore Mania channel out there, which I have found. And thank you to Zam, to Zamzad for bringing this up and bringing this to my attention. I do appreciate that, my friend. Um, to answer your question, Zamzad, no, I did not get your donation because that channel that you donated to is the fake channel. This one right here that I'm on right now, this one that is live right now, this very second... Not the other one. <clears throat> but this one right here that I am on right now. If you guys go up, you'll see the thing. The one that says I am a survivor of suicide by a stylist. That is the fake account. That is somebody pretending to be me. And if you guys don't know what channel that is, this is it right here. I need everybody to go over there right now. Or at some point when you get the chance. And please report this channel. That channel, not, not mine. But... This channel right here that I'm posting the link to. That channel right there. Needs to be reported. The one that says this right here. Let me read it off to you guys. After an hour and a half of songs I didn't want to listen to. Cyrax would go at it again saying how the other channel is fake. So, there is a fake channel of me going around. And that fake channel is... This one right here. That fake channel that I just posted in the comments... That is the fake channel that is pretending to be me... Like, everything on that channel is fake. Everything from the Cash App to everything about it. They're literally just restreaming my sh 
That's literally all they're doing is they're going in and they're restreaming my content. That's what these content thieves like to do. They like to go in and they like to restream my content and get the views so that I don't get paid or I don't make money. No, that one that you donated to, man, that's not me, dude. That channel I just posted in the comments right there, dude, that's not me. That is a fake. Cyrax would then tell us his plan going forward and ended the stream. Oh yeah, he also said he's planning on becoming a VTuber. <sighs> but yeah, it's just, it's wild, man. It really is. Though, like I said earlier this morning, guys, my plans for the channel are going to be that I am going to be focusing a lot more on uh, PC-based gaming. Because I know a lot of you guys want to see me do that. So that is going to be a thing. I am going to be doing that. Um, so yeah. I am going to, like I said, I am going to be focusing more on doing, you know, PC gaming. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more, you know, um, anime based style stuff, like as far as like gaming goes. Um, I am going to attempt, keyword attempt to do uh, the whole VTuber thing, but on here. I don't know how that's going to work, but I am going to figure out a way to do that and make that happen for you guys. So hopefully that does work out. Hopefully I can get something going with that. Because I do have a friend of mine that does make uh, models for VTubing. So all I got to do is reach out to them and be like, hey, you know, is there any way that you can create one for me? Custom done. And I'm pretty sure they'll do it no problem. I just gotta let them know that I'm interested in doing this thing full time, so all I gotta do is reach under my buddy, get my model set up, and once that happens, I can start doing it, hopefully. Like I said, that's gonna be um, on a, that's gonna be on a different channel. So that'll be fun though. That's gonna be on a different channel, and I will be doing that on a different channel entirely. That way you guys will be able to go over there, hang out on the new channel, have fun, hang out, have a good time, all that fun, happy ass horse <laughs> But uh, let me see how long I've been streaming for. Good damn. Over two hours, holy shit. But anyway, y'all, that will do it for now. Um, like I said, I wanted to let you guys know about the fake account that is out there of me that needs to be reported and shut down. Um, and if you guys have Cash App, be sure to report their Cash App as well. I just did that. So if you guys do, like I said, want to donate to me, once again, I'm going to show you guys my Cash App right here like my actual cash app so there's no confusion and you guys know it's actually me right there is my actual cash app right there so if you guys would like to donate you guys can right there is my cash app or if you guys know it already it's right there in the description but yeah right here is my cash out for you guys so if y'all do want to donate you can or if you know somebody that does want to they can as well let me zoom in for you guys here bring it a little closer for y'all but right there is my cash app for you guys that way you know it's me and not a fake 
But uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm about to bounce for now. I'm about to sit down, grab some breakfast, hang out, catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers that I like to watch. And uh, I will be back probably around probably around like 10 o'clock or so for some PC gaming. Um, I did download some games, so that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. And I will catch you guys later on, man. As I always say, stay humble, stay positive, keep being yourself. Fuck the haters, man. You guys are fucking awesome. I appreciate every single fucking one of you guys that pops in and hangs out and has a good time. You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, hopefully when I get a new phone, I'll be able to get shit set up so you guys can start actually subscribing to this channel. But with that being said, I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace. After that, we would get a gaming stream called Valorant and Chill. Hey, what is up, everybody, man? Tonight, I'm doing something a little bit different than I've not done before, which is sitting down... Playing in that one of my good friends, Joey, got me in two shots of my boy, Joey. You know who you are, Joe. But, um... Well, his actual name is not Joey G. But, yeah. But, uh, tonight I'm sitting here playing some Valorant and chilling, dude. He just got me into this. I did play a couple rounds earlier, and from what I played, dude... Bruh. Dude, fucking amazing game so far, dude. I absolutely love it. So we gonna jump right into it, man. Do some Valorant. And chill out with you guys for a few hours, man. Sit down, hang out, have a good time. I almost missed this because nothing was going on in this stream. Cyrax told us that he can tell this person is speaking Mandarin. I'm actually shocked he doesn't think it's called Mandalorian. Oh. So many speaking Mandarin. I can't speak it, but I can understand like the style. That's definitely Mandarin. Cyrax then talked about a community post made by N-Word Boy. And you know, for all y'all that do show love and support to me and befriend me, dude, I appreciate the f out of y'all, man. Because if y'all go over to N word B O Y, it's literally N, it's literally the letter N word, and then B O Y. If you go over there and look at his latest post, man, he's fucking tripping. Sh but what could that community post have said to get Cyrax so mad? Well, Cyrax is actually gonna read it out soon, so we're gonna wait a minute and let him do my work for me. Well, after that, Cyrax would end the stream, and let me tell you, no, I did not enjoy it, and just for a friendly reminder, to never smack the sub or like button. Alright, y'all, with that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this, man. If y'all did, be sure to smack that like button, that subscribe, or that follow button, and everything else down below. And I will catch you guys later on for the next match of Valorant. Again, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. If y'all did, be sure to smack that like button and hit that follow button. And with that being said, I love you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next stream, man. Next stream, I will be doing uh, probably some Genshin Impact or something along those lines. But uh, anyways, I fucking love you guys. I'm out of here, y'all. As always, stay humble, stay positive, keep being yourself. Fuck the haters and the trolls. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace. The next day, on November 14th, Cyrax would go live on Kick, begging for help again with a stream called Help Stop the Trolls because of that darn N-word boy who's allegedly now Wance Chilkins. What is up, everyone? Good, everyone, good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, I need everybody's help. And bad, bro. And I'm not even joking when I say this. 
I need help to shut down the YouTuber known as N-Word Boy entirely for good. Like, I need as many people to help me as possible. Like, I need as many people that are willing to help me put a stop to this shit as humanly possible because I found out a lot of shit today. Quite a bit. And I need y'all's help to do it. If you guys don't know, um, N-Word Boy is a YouTuber who has been giving me shit and trying to shut my kick account down as well as get me shut down on every other platform. But I also found out today that this man wants me basically to die essentially like this guy literally wants me shut down off of everything the music that I was trying to release you know that guy that goes under the name Wench Chilkins the one that's been stealing my music yeah that's him this guy is the reason that you guys don't get to see any music from me anymore this guy is the reason behind all the attacks that have been going on the last few years so what I need everybody to do, I need everybody to go to his channel, grab all the info you guys can, and start emailing, you know, people like, you know, law enforcement, YouTube themselves, uh, FBI agencies, like, we need to get this guy shut down. And if you guys do need the link to his channel, Bear in mind, he has two or three different channels. I don't know if I can. Let me try. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, hang on. I'm trying to find the slow mode here and I can't find it. But what I need everybody to do is to go to N-Word Boy's channels. Like all of his channels and I need your guys' help to shut this guy down. This guy is the reason why my channels have been shut down on here and suspended on here this guy is the reason why none of my music is getting released this guy literally wants to see me shut down for good he's the reason why my merch shop got shut down and why everything i do gets shut down i don't know who this guy is but he goes by the name of n-word boy now, I do know that he is in league with William Glory, with William Glory Hole, and he also is in league with Mastro Mafia, a.k.a. Kate Peters, a.k.a. the most hated chick on YouTube. Like, literally, this chick is literally the world's biggest hypocrite. Which, if you guys would like to see that video... You guys can go back and check it out. Like, I literally posted it the other day. I actually did an, ex an exposing video where I showed the real horrors of Kate Peters' nature and how she is an attention whore and how she'll do anything for a quick buck and to get views. And how she does have a very extensive history with breaking the law. But this dude, N-Word Boy, he's the main reason why none of my music is able to be released. Cyrax would then read out that community post that we referenced earlier, so I don't have to, but then he also defamed my boy. 
Like, this dude is literally the reason why I'm not able to do anything. Why people are so scared to stand up for me. Because this guy will literally go around and threaten anybody that tries to help me. Matter of fact, if you go to his community page, you'll see it. It's like, it's down a little bit, but you can see. It's from three days ago. It's literally the second post. This is what it says right here from three days ago. I really wish all you ass wannabe buddy trolls will go away and class me and yourselves. All you fing fs that are typing in his kick chat and befriending him on Facebook are morons. And I highly despise all of you. None of you are trolling him or doing anything useful for anyone except helping Chance. You aren't helping us, me, us slash me. Instead, you are helping him and giving him advice. You are his friends and make him feel better. You tell him he is right and that everyone else is wrong about him. If any of you are subbed to me, then unsub right now. I do not want anything to do with you. With you disgusting people. You are file supporters and chances friends. So off from my channels. And you better pray that I don't find you because I will give you and your families slash friends the same treatments the same treatment his friends get. That's how psychotic this piece of shit is. That's how psychotic this dude actually is. Yes, I am actually talking about N word boy Vaughn. Like I said, I need everybody in here to help me stop this guy. This guy is literally the main reason why I'm not able to do anything. He's the reason why I'm not able to release any music. Matter of fact, he's the one that's been stealing my music. This dude is the reason why my kick channels keep on getting banned and shut down for... You know, months at a time. This dude is literally the reason why I'm having trouble doing anything. Because he's working with Mastro Mafia, with William Goryhole, and um, uh, CBG, aka Cyrax Video Games. This dude is literally the head of all this shit. This dude has gone after my friends, gone after my family. This dude is a serious, this dude is a serious fucking psychopath. And he needs to be dealt with appropriately. This guy seriously needs to be locked up. Cyrax would actually vouch for Marty, saying that he hasn't done anything to Cyrax lately and wasn't involved in what's currently happening. Whether it be by YouTube, Google, who owns YouTube. Believe it or not, Marty's kind of f***ed off, Vaughn. Marty's kind of f***ing with other people. Yo, Skydrift, he's okay, don't worry. But Marty, he's messing with other people. He's actually going after other people right now. So Marty is in no way involved in this. Matter of fact, tomorrow morning, I'm actually planning on reaching out to Google and contacting them and showing them the harassing stuff that he's been doing. 
that n-word boy's been doing and how all these other trolls have been running this whole scam for all these years and how it needs to be stopped. Because Malinsky, Marty hired Mass Troll Mafia, who went by the name of Mass Troll Reports at the time, back a couple years ago. He hired her to illegally entrap me just to drive away my friends. Like, he did that to drive away all my friends because I would not date him because I'm not gay. Cyrax then lies about how he has friends in prison right now. And you can actually get internet in there if you know what you're doing. Oh, Sam Amy, I got a couple of friends that post, even though they're locked up, they still post here from time to here and there from time to time. I got, I'm not going to lie, I got a couple of friends that are doing a little bit of time. It's for stupid shit, like fucking weed charges and shit. But, you know, it's not like they went out and fucking murdered somebody or something. They're just in for, you know, weed charges and shit like that. How much weed? Honestly, I don't know. I don't ask. I don't ask, I don't say shit. <laughs> Even the fake Metalcore Mania kick was able to get our little guy mad because they were restreaming him. Also, right now, I need everybody right now to go over to the fake account and report the f*** out of that live stream right the f*** now. And I mean, I need everyone to go the f*** over there, report the f*** out of that fake account because they are live streaming this right now. I need you guys to report the fuck out of that shit. Hey, N-word boy, I know you're watching this fuck boy. Fuck you, ass. You restreaming a little punk. Get the fuck out of here and get the fuck off a kick, you douchebag motherfucker. No one wants a cyber bully like you on the fucking internet, you piece of shit. Don't like it? Too Fucking bad, cause we're coming for your ass. We're shutting you the f down. So everybody on here right now, I need y'all to go over and shut this punk ass the f down. Oh, trust me, I got a song that literally brings, it's, it definitely brings a lot of pain, but, hang on. Yes, it's on kick. Just because I had to watch the rest of that doesn't mean that you have to as well. Then, things got quiet for the rest of the night, but they wouldn't stay that way for long. The next day, on November 15th, Cyrax would do a live stream on kick called A Message to Gordon, where he threw the pity stream that Gordon, the seer, predicted days earlier. What's up, everyone? Um, I am posting this video for a very good reason. Um, last night, around... Last night around 
midnight, one o'clock ish, after I got done with my stream. I went to begin the shutdown of the trolls. I went to start everything up. You know, I went to start to go to get the info that I needed to, you know, begin begin the process of trying to shut the trolls down. And I came, I don't know how, but I somehow really came across my dad's Facebook, or not Facebook, but his YouTube channel. And I was scrolling through just to see if there was anything there. You know, just to see if there was anything there from the trolls or anything like that, and there really wasn't much. At least nothing to worry, at least nothing usable. Anyways. But I was scrolling through the comments and I came across I came across one of their posts in their community tab that really it really hit home and it really really hurt. It wasn't anything aimed at me. I just learned that my dad has cancer. And I honestly don't know how long he has left. And to my dad, Gordon, whatever you want, want me to call you, I just want to say this. Do I hate you? No. I don't hate you. I can never hate the man that helped raise me. But what I do hate is what you've done. And the thing that you've done that I hate so much is that you've literally sided with the people that have bullied me for the last five years like the fact that you could literally sit there and side with the very people that have attempted to murder me that have gone after mom they have gone after my friends my other family members like I don't understand how you could take their side over your own son and for that matter I don't understand how you could sit there and disown me the way that you did I mean, what do you expect to happen when you sit there in front of over a thousand people and tell everybody that I'm not family to you. Do you have any idea how much that fucking hurt? How bad I felt? How much I fucking bawled my eyes out for the next three nights? Because it hurt that fucking much? Do you have any idea how much what you said hurt? I get it, you know, to you I'm not blood. I wasn't born by you, therefore I'm not blood family. I get it. But just because I'm not blood family, that doesn't mean that you didn't help to fucking raise me to a, to a certain extent. Because you did. Like I said, I don't hate you as a human being I hate what you become and the things that you're doing with these people and Manuel you have to understand dude there's something that you need to understand when I said those things that was out of anger that was out of hurt 
that was out of not understanding how my own dad could sit there and side with these evil ass people that want to do nothing but ruin my life. And the fact that he could side with them hurt me that fucking much. Cyrax, after everything he said about Gordon, said that Gordon will always be his dad, disowned or not, before going off on his aunt. Oh, yeah, he also goes off saying that he's being used by the trolls. Like it or not, I will always consider you my dad. Whether... Whether you disown me or don't disown me, that's fine. You want to disown me, that's fine. That's on you. But like I said, there's been plenty of times where I wanted to get on panel on your stream and call you out. There's been plenty of times where I've actually wanted to call you the fuck out on a lot of different sh But at the end of the day, I could never bring myself to do that to my own family. There's only one person I ever did that to, and that's because she fucking deserved it. And that person was my older sister, Dale Lynn. The only reason why I did that is because she actually deserved it. Because she started a fight that she couldn't finish. She ran her mouth about shit that was not true and treated me like a little kid all the fucking time. And I finally got tired of being treated like a little kid, so I stepped up and I said something. But like I said, Gordon... At the end of the day, like it or not, I'm still your kid. Whether you want to accept that or not, that's on you. I'm okay with not being family to you. I am, I'm okay with that because that's your choice. That's your decision. Do I agree with your decisions of Disowning me and joining the trolls? No, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. In fact, if anything, you should be listening to me before you listen to them. Because I actually know what the f I'm talking about. They don't. They're just using you for f***ing views. They're using you for clicks and views. And when they're done with you, Gordon, they're going to do with you like they did with Tony, the Black Dragon Lord. They're going to do with you like they did to me. Like they did to other people that I know personally that are, I'm still good friends with. And they're going to throw you away and cast you aside. And when they throw you away and cast you aside, what are you going to do? Then what? Then what are you going to do, man? Once you find out the real truth and these people are exposed for the monsters that they are, what are you going to do? Cyrax actually had the nerve to say he was disappointed in Gordon and that there was still some respect for him inside of Cyrax's heart. A lot of people in the family that are very, very disheartened and very disappointed in your actions. But I can honestly say that none of them are as disappointed in you as I am. I can honestly say that I am beyond. And I mean beyond disappointed. I am beyond hurt. I am beyond words of even being able to describe how disappointed I am in you.
But like I said, I didn't come after you for a reason. And I could have. I could have come after you. But I didn't. I could have called you out. I could have sat there and gone after you the same way that I do Marty, the same way I, that I do all the other trolls. I could have gotten on panel and embarrassed the fuck out of you and called you out, but I didn't. And I didn't do it because part of me even though you did all this shit, even though you did all this fucked up shit, deep down there's a very, very small, a very small, slight part of me that still gives a shit, that still cares, that still holds somewhat a tiny bit of respect for you. And honestly, OG, I don't know. I really don't know, man. I wish I did know. I wish I did. You couldn't write this. Cyrax says that he wishes Gordon wouldn't be so blind while Cyrax's own eyes are closed, and then asks why Gordon couldn't have disowned him in private. Remember that Cyrus lied about Gordon publicly for years. I just wish. I just wish you wouldn't be so, so blind. You know, because right now what you're doing is being blind. You're being blind to what these people are doing. And that's sad. Like I said, I know I said some sh that was fucked up. And I'm sorry about that. But like I said, Gordon, what do you expect after you sit there and you disown me in front of over a thousand people? What do you expect? I mean, you were the one that sat there and taught me as a little kid not to take from no one. As a little kid, you taught me not to take from anyone. You taught me to always stand up for myself. You all, you always as a kid taught me to not take shit lying down and to fight back. No matter the outcome, you fight. I just don't understand why you had to disown me in front of over a thousand people. That's what I don't understand. I don't understand why you had to do it publicly. Like, why couldn't you do it in private? Like, you literally could have freaking asked anybody from my Facebook. You could have reached out to mom. You could have reached out to anybody that you know that knows me. And you could have gotten my Facebook. And we could have talked. But instead, you went about when things the way that you did. And it wasn't right, it wasn't cute, and it wasn't cool or funny.
After multiple I'm about to end the videos, Cyrax would finally end the video. So Gordon, I do want to say this before I log off of this stream for the night. I want to say thank you for teaching me everything that you taught me as a kid. Everything from hunting, fishing. Thank you for teaching me to always stand up for myself. And to never take shit from anyone. And to never take anything lying down. Because those things that you taught me have carried me a long way. And I'm grateful for that. So to you, I say this. Good luck to you. I wish you nothing but the best. And again, thank you for the lessons that you instilled in me as a little kid. Because those lessons have, those lessons have brought me a very long ways. Good luck, Gordon. Be safe. Get well soon. And may you have a change of heart. Peace. But unfortunately, however, Cyrax would do one of his famous Never Give It to the Darkness streams on Kick, where he would then play dress up or something. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing today? I got a surprise for you guys, so give me just one minute here. What the fuck is up, everybody? Now, if you guys notice, I'm wearing a few things that I don't normally wear. Like these steampunk skeleton hands. And everything that all you awesome fans sent to me over time. And that is for a very important reason. Those are for a very important reason and that reason is because you guys are one of the biggest fucking reasons why I'm still here to this very day and still fighting you guys are one of the biggest reasons why I didn't give up fighting all those years ago when I wanted to when I wanted to end my life you guys didn't let me 
a lot of you guys that reached out to me back then, y'all didn't let me give in. And I am so beyond grateful to you guys for that. Then, Cyrax directed all of his anger onto someone named Malvin in his chat. Cyrax even thinks that if this was a real concert, everyone there would be wailing on him. Well, my bad to you, Rim. But yo, Malvin, come on, man. Let's hear your excuse, dude. Post that sh in the chat for everyone to see since you want to sit there and run your f***ing mouth. Come on. I'm out here trying to do sh to inspire people and to help people while you're over here running your fucking mouth. So come on, let's hear what you gotta say, dude. Go ahead, post it in for everyone to fucking see, man. Let's hear what you gotta fucking say. I'm waiting, man. Come on, say what you gotta fucking say. I stopped this whole fucking show so you can say whatever you gotta fucking say and get it out. Come on. Let's fucking hear it, douchebag. What? No answer? Got nothing to say? That's what I fucking thought, dude. Because you know what's funny? If this is a regular stage and you were out in the fucking crowd, there'd be a lot of motherfuckers jumping on your ass right now. There'd be a lot of motherfuckers taking shots at you right now, man. So mods, if you guys are watching this, get this Malvin dude the fuck out of here. After a delay that was too long for me to justify including, Cyrax would go off on Malvin again. But you know, I find people like Malvin very interesting for a very good reason. No, I do. I find it entertaining. Because people like him are so small-minded. And they have such a one-track mind. That they think they can just come up in here and run. Well, I'm sorry, Melvin, but around here, that's not how things work, man. If you're going to be on here, you're going to be fucking respectful not only to me, but to everybody else in the chat you got that because you're no better than me and I'm no better than you when you come on this stream we are all equal here no one is above anyone here no one is better than anyone just because I got a mic don't make me better than you and don't make me better than anyone I see myself as everyone's equal. Kano here is my equal. Everyone here is my fucking equal. But like I said, Malvin, when you come in here and you start running your fucking mouth, when you come in here and start running your fucking mouth, That's when we got a fucking problem. So Malvin, if you don't like what I'm doing, then step off. And go watch something else. You ain't gotta watch my channel. If you don't like what I'm doing, there's plenty of other channels to watch, man.
Then Cyrix would go on about how he's going to find all the trolls, make them pay, blah, 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 Council of Eight, CVG, you get the picture. I will find him, don't you worry. I'll find him, and hell, I may even find you. Cause trust me, I have my ways of finding people. Nobody is unfindable and nobody is untouchable. Not even you, ACDC. And not even that dumb Strickland either. The Council of Eight had better be ready. Because I'm coming for every one of their heads. But first, I gotta take the leader's head, which is N word boy. First, I'm going to find out his name, then find his picture. And then once I do that, I will expose him and dox him and embarrass him the very same way that he did me and that he deserves. And the same thing goes for William Glory Hole and for Cyrax Video Games. And every single troll out there that has ever pushed me around or tried to hold me back. Trust me when I say, your guys' time is up. Your guys' reign of terror over me, my friends, my family, and my fans, that's over. That's done. You guys are going to lose. And when you do lose, and you guys end up going down for the y'all have done to me I will be celebrating I will be celebrating with everybody that I fucking love all my friends all my fans all my family I will be celebrating that day cause trust me I say that day is coming and very fucking fast that day is coming very fast and when it does happen that's going to be the best day of my fucking life. Because when that day comes, I'll finally be able to be who I used to be five years ago. A change is coming, guys. So for all you trolls out there, be warned. A change is going to happen. And it's going to be for the betterment of myself and for everyone around me. After that stream, Cyrax would do another video on YouTube called Stop Lying to Yourself, Gordon, where Cyrax does his usual speech that should be done in a mirror. I know that this is going to be a longer clip, but I really couldn't find a good part to cut it before going to the next one. So this message is for Gordon. AKA my former dad. You know, man, there's, let, let's get something really clear here, just real quick. You know what you're saying is a lie. You know that. I know that. The rest of the family knows it. See, you can lie to the rest of the world all you want. Hell, you can even lie to my face. But there's one thing you can never do. There's one person you can never lie to. And that's yourself. Deep, de deep down, you know I'm right about everything I said. You just don't want to admit it. You don't want to admit the fact that you helped to raise me as a kid. Yeah, sure, you may not have been there all the time, but you can't deny the fact that you were still in my life to a certain extent. Like I said, you can continue to lie to all these people you want, Gordon. That's fine. But the day will come where all your lies 
to yourself, to these people, is going to come out. And when the lies do come out and you get exposed, what are you going to do then? What are you going to do then, Gordon? It's pretty sad that you're sitting here lying to yourself about me. You know the truth. I know the truth. Mom, Dale, and the rest of the family, they know the truth. So why are you lying to yourself, Gordon? There's one difference between me and you, and I'm not talking But there is one major difference between me and you. I actually know how to tell the fucking truth. I don't hide secrets from people. That's what you do. And it's sad. You lie to your and you lie to yourself to make yourself feel better. You lie to these people for whatever reason. And that's fine, I mean that's cool. You can lie to these people all you want, Gordon. You can. That's all on you. Does it change my statement from earlier? No. Like I said, you can lie to these people, you can lie to me, you can talk But at the end of the day, I will always still give a f about you. Because like I said in my last video that I made about you, you helped raise me as a kid. And you know it. You know you did. So why you're lying to yourself is beyond me. I don't understand it, but I wish you would come clean. I wish you would wash away all the lies. You know, it's funny, you talk about being a part of God. You talk about God a lot. But there's one of the Ten Commandments that you seem to be having trouble following. Thou shalt not lie. Lying is a sin. And you're lying to these people. But most importantly, you're lying to yourself. So Gordon, here's a bit of advice for you. Before it's too late, cut the bullshit out. Side note to Cyrax, it's not thou shall not lie, it's thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Honestly, let's play a little game. How many of the Ten Commandments has Cyrax broken? 1. Thou shall have no other gods before me. Cyrax wears Thor's hammer and not an Aramaic symbol, leading him to get one point. Number two, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. This one, while sounding a little confusing, is widely accepted not to worship idols and other things above God, which is learned more in Leviticus 26.1. To my knowledge, this is one that Cyrax is not guilty of. Three, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord, thy God, in vain. Cyrax is absolutely guilty of this one, and there is no way that anyone can argue against it with how many goddams he throws out and how much he swears on God. Four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. This one's a little tricky because since Cyrax does zero work, ever, I can't see him ever breaking it. But I know for a fact that he never kept it holy, so we're giving him half a point. Number five, honor thy father and thy mother. Cyrax automatically loses this one, considering he strangled his grandmother, wished death upon Gordon, and I know that neither are his biological parents, but he does consider them as such. Six, thou shalt not kill. 
While he technically hasn't, Cyrax did actually try to put out a hit on Kate and her kids. Even if it wasn't real, Cyrax at the time believed it was. 7. Thou shall not commit adultery. Cyrax cheated on Strawberry, and because he got caught, did his famous stylus incident, getting another point. 8. Thou shall not steal. This one could be legitimately argued that it's more lying than stealing when it comes to Cyrax taking other people's art and songs, then passing it off as his own, but I think it warrants another full point. 9. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Cyrax has been a false witness to everyone that has ever come in contact with him, from Marty charged me off the porch, to saying the Akron PD had 30 guns drawn on him. Finally, number 10, you shall not covet. Cyrax has gone record saying he wants all the money made off of people talking about him, getting him one more full point. Remember team, this is like golf, where the lower your score is, the better, and have a maximum score of 10, Cyrax got an 8. While we could probably lower it depending on your definition of intellectual property theft, let's get back to the video. Cyrax started calling everyone that's against him a demon, and you know what? I'm gonna let Raxton Teen over here explain it before he ended up ending the video. Cause these people that you're dealing with, Gord, these people you're dealing with, man, they're not normal people, they're f***ing demons. They're demons in human flesh. And you're letting them fool you. Just real quickly, I want you to do something for me. I want you to look up the demon Python. The snake demon. That snake demon... Her name is Kate Peters. And what does Kate do? Lie to people. She has other snakes lying for her. What you need to realize, Gordon, is the spiritual war has already begun. And you can't even see it. I don't know about you, but I slay demons. I destroy demons. I don't let demons into my head no matter what. But you, you let them control you. And your channel, you making that channel and doing what you're doing, shows that. I chose the way of good. You're choosing the way of evil. So Gordon, I'm giving you a fair warning right now. Turn back now before it's too late because I don't want to see you cast aside by these demonic evil people. These people are not good. They are pure evil and you can't see it and that's sad. So my advice to you Gordon, get out now before it's too late. This world ain't for you. You think you can handle it, but trust me when I say you can't. You're not built for this kind of war. I am. So get out now before it's too late. Of course, that wasn't the last that we would see from Cyrax, it almost never is. Cyrax would then give Gordon another message not long after called, These people ain't your friends, Gordon, where he assumed that Gordon watched the video he made earlier and then tells Gordon just how it really is. I'm here to tell you the truth on how these people operate, how these demonic, evil people operate. See, they reached out to you to turn you against me. They lied to your face. And you're believing it. You know. It's sad. 
how quick you are to believe a lie of a stranger over the truth of your own son. You might not think that they're playing you. You might not think that they're using you, Gordon, but these people that you're talking to, they are very much using you. They are. They want to use you to destroy me and to destroy my family. And I'm not going to let that happen. That's not going to happen. So Gordon, I'm telling you. As the only person that's being fucking honest with you. Stop listening to these fucking people and get the fuck off of YouTube. Because getting off of YouTube and ignoring these people, that's the only way you're going to be able to keep from being used and attacked. You want to know what happened to every single person that has stood up for me and defended me against these evil people? They're gone. Every one of them have been bullied to the point to where they are so scared to even say anything anymore. Because the people like N-Word Boy that have actually scared them to the point to where they don't know what to do anymore. They don't know what to do anymore. Because they're so scared because of what these trolls do. So trust me when I say, Gordon, these trolls that you're befriending, they're not in any way, shape, or form your friend. That night on Marty's panel, that's what I was trying to tell you. Marty is a lying snake. Kate, William Gorehole, they're all lying pieces of shit. And Kate is the biggest one of all. She really is. And you're believing it like a fool. I'm trying to tell you, Gordon, these people, they ain't your friends. These people are very evil. They're destructive. They don't want to see me do good. They want to keep me locked in a bubble and make me do whatever they want, want me to do and I'm not doing it. They want to try to force me to do shit that I don't want to do. And because I'm not doing what they want, look at what they've done to me. Look at what they've done to my family, my friends, the people I care about. The people that want to stand up for me are now so afraid to stand up for me because of these people, man. Hey, right, come on, Gordon, wake the f*** up. Cyrax then came up with a saying that only applies to him because he still judges Marty based off his old actions. Pay attention to my new actions, what I'm doing now currently. Because there seems to be one lesson that you still have not learned yet, Gordon, and that's sad. And this is a lesson you should have learned long ago, even as a kid. Don't judge a man by his past, but by his current actions. And what he is currently doing. Like I said, we all have a past. We all have some sort of past. It is what it is. But judge me not by my past, but by what I am doing currently. You know what I do every day and have been doing every day for the past several months? Gaming out, live streaming, and working on fucking music 
and hanging out with my friends and family. That's it. Now, if I'm doing that, how could I supposedly be over here doing all this other shit that I'm not doing? Wake up, Gordon. These people are lying to your face. And like I told the last troll that messaged me, their end is near. I will expose them for the lying pieces of shit that they are. And when that day does come, that's going to be a good day. And the only thing that I ask of you when that day does come and I expose these people just like I exposed Kate on my kick stream the other night when I do expose these people for the pieces of shit that they really are when I do expose them all I ask is that you apologize to me for everything that you've said that's all I ask I really wish you would listen to me now so that you wouldn't have to worry about an apology later on, but it's pretty clear to me that you don't want to listen. Cyrax would leave Gordon one last message and then ended the video. Choice is yours, Gordon. Like I said, I don't hate you. I harbor no hatred towards you. I just hate the things that you're doing. That's it. So, if you want to change all this, Gordon, let me know. I'll be happy to help. If you want to get away from these evil-ass people, let me know. I'll be glad to help. Because I know how these motherfuckers operate. You don't. I do. I've been around them long enough, and I know their every move before they fucking make it. Because I got it like that. I got people that watch their every move and every single thing that they do so I know every plan every little thing that they plan to do every little move they make I got that shit locked so Gordon like I said it's your call man pick wisely well, this time, Gordon actually would get the message, because the Wilkins family would go live on a stream called Little Man BS, Truth Be Told, once again. Hey, okay, Ashes, guys. What's up? Hi, guys. <laughs> yes. Good evening, Brax Nation. We had a little technical difficulty yeah. there, but, you know, nothing... I apologize. Yeah, uh, nothing my Thank own. you guys for giving us a couple minutes to figure this out. It was definitely my fault because I don't allow him to touch the computer. Yeah, hopefully so. Brax ain't, me ain't messing with the stream. Even if he is, I don't care, yeah. man. I don't care. You go on, little man. Yeah, you, know, you do you, boo. Yeah, you do you. If, if you're that, that worried out. about it, then that means that's not, I'm in your head. So <laughs> Absolutely. Right in space, by the day. Yeah. Hey, Z-Money. Hey, Cracker Sandwich. That rat. I like her. Mm -hmm. uh, Marie, uh, let's see. Devious Minds. Johnny Bravo, Mark Withers, Amanda Baby. We had a uh, a bunch of people um, earlier, and there was somebody from England. So yeah. if you're still here with us, England, absolutely. New Zealand, everybody. Thank you for I mean, joining us. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Wilkins then watched the videos that we just saw earlier. Let me see for No, you're really her. I am. It wasn't anything aimed at me. I just learned that my dad has cancer. Okay, pause this mother. Pause this motherfucker right here. Right here, my ears right there. Pause. I got this, you. Oh. This. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, Lesson. He just found out. Oh. He just found out. Now I'm calling bullshit. I call bullshit on because I know every time we put up a stream, I know that little ferret, mealy mouse, just <laughs> sit back looking, and he's watching. So you can't tell me that you just found out because when I told you, if you've seen the stream where I told everybody that I had cancer, 
I made it. I made a statement. Don't you dare come up on on <laughs> on the stream saying, "Oh, woe is." Oh yeah, that's all I, this is about. Woe is. This is all oh this is no, about. hell no, hell no. Okay, so hell no. Sit still. Hold your horses. Strap, oh. in, strap in your rainbow suspenders. We're oh. gonna get along with it. Oh. And I honestly don't know how long he has left. Yeah. Oh, he, oh he, longer than you wish I had left. He is a grief vulture. Longer. Me too, my dad, Gordon. Yeah. Whatever you want, want me to call you. Jesus Christ. But don't call me nothing. Yeah, right? <laughs> don't no, call me. Just don't call me. I just want to say this. Just don't call pal. Do I hate you? No. Okay. I Good. don't hate you. I can never... You should hate the man in our graces. But what I do hate is what you've done. What I did. <laughs> what I did it. Yeah. And the thing that you've done that I hate so much. What's that? <laughs> is that you've literally sided with the people that have bullied me for the last five years. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. I ain't first off. Hold on, I ain't done oh uh, why? No. First off, little man, I ain't sided with nobody. Yeah, you got, you got, you got. I ain't sided with nobody. You got us so twisted. And I know farther up in this, somewhere up through here, because you repeat yourself about five different freaking times. So this thing is thirty-eight minutes long. We can listen to ten minutes of it. When asked about making room in the attic when Sally's gone, both Jenny and Gordon agreed Cyrus would not be moving in. Phantom Fox says he knows Sally is on the way out. He wants to make up and hopefully you'll make some room in the attic. Well, we don't have an attic, thank God. Um, there's no room for here for him. No. There will no. never be any room here for no. him. And you know what? When she passes away, that that's gonna be that's gonna be time for him to figure out which institution oh, yeah. he should be in. Yeah. Um, I, w I wouldn't put a dumpster in my backyard and let him uh, live in it. That ain't happening. That that wouldn't happen, man. Oh yeah, next slide. Gordon tried to shoot me, shoot me through my bedroom oh, window. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jenny pointed out how Cyrax will lie about the most needless things. No, and and you know we watched a couple of the um, videos, and he, he just goes off on the craziest. Sh oh yeah. I mean, there's no need for him to lie about half of what he's saying. He did not grow up on a farm. Gordy did not teach him how to fight. No. He did not. There's just. I didn't teach him how to shoot. No. None of that shit. You know? So. Oh, when we did watch a video, do you remember the video we watched that had it showing you and Sally moving to Florida? Yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't do that. I mean, that's. That didn't well, happen. Anybody has been watching, you got. You know the, the true yeah. story. Right? Yeah. yeah. But we want to make that clear. But yeah. since Chauncey's watching. Yeah. And I don't understand why this kid continuously says, "Me and my me and mom tried to keep you to stay, but you wouldn't." If he recalls correctly, Sally loaded up in U-Haul. Yep. And she took off to Washington. Yep. So this, oh my God, my parents separated. We wanted him to stay. Jesus Christ, make hot chocolate and just go get another stylist. I don't know what to tell you, kid. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but you get on my. After that stream, two people would go live around the exact same time, but we're starting with old Cyrax, who would go live on Kick with a stream called Exposing the Real Truth of the Trolls to the World. What the f is up, you guys? What's up, everybody? Tonight, I'm here to do something that should have been done a long time ago. I never had the courage to do until now. 
something that I've been wanting to do for years that should have been done. Something that needed to be done that never got done. Which is exposing the scam of the trolls and what they actually do and what they're really about. As many of you know, the past five years have been a living fucking nightmare for me. These past five years have been a nightmare not only for me, but also for my friends and for my family as well. And no undeniable, I'm speaking the truth so that no one has to go through what I went through. I'm doing this not for myself, but for everybody out there that might fall for their sh**. Because I don't want anybody to fall into the same trap that I fell into. I don't want anybody to fall into the trap that I've been stuck in for the last five years. I'm doing this to help people, to protect others from what I've went through. Break out your notepads because Cyrax tells us the troll playbook and that he's going to help people not fall for it. And you guys are probably thinking, well, what scams have they pulled? Let me tell you how they operate. They operate like this, and it's quite simple. First, they go out and they seek you out. And when they seek you out, they befriend you. They'll act like they're your buddy, act like they want what's best for you. And for a certain time, it seems like that. Because they'll do stuff to make you feel that way. They'll make you feel wanted, make you feel accepted. They'll do everything they can to make you feel good, to help you out. And at first, that's what they do. They help you out. They make you feel like you're doing something good worthwhile and it's true that's exactly what they do they'll sit there and make you feel good about yourself make you feel like you're on top of the world like you can do anything you want to do And then, in turn, they slowly but surely start to manipulate you. And it starts with little things. It starts with the littlest fucking thing. Most of the time, it starts with them making up some person saying some about you that wasn't even saying anything about you in the first place. That's how it all starts. And then they get you doing other things, like raging out. And when you start to rage out, after finding out the truth about what they're doing, and this stuff can go on for years. This stuff can go on for fucking years. Because with me, I didn't know that I was being stolen from money-wise until just a couple years ago. I had no idea that I was being stolen from, that I was being scammed, that I was being extorted for money. And another way that they will extort you, and this is another thing that I had to look out for that happened to me, is this. They'll prey on your talent. They'll act like they want to help you get somewhere. Like they want to do something good for you. And I'm not saying all people are bad. There are some good people out there that do genuinely want to help. And those people you can trust. 
But the people like Marty, like the Bender Boys, they can't be trusted. Because they make you feel like you're on top of the world. And they'll help you with your talents at first. They will. But then, right when you want to do something else for a while and take a break from that one thing, that's when they start up everything. The minute you go to take a break, they sit there and make you fucking do it by any means necessary. Whether it be threatening to mass report your channel, whether it be finding out your family's info and doxing your family, whether it be threatening your life, these people will do anything they can to make sure that you keep doing what you're doing. And behind the scenes, what they'll be doing is they'll be restreaming your stream and making sure that you don't make any money that you should be making. And I know it's f***ed up, but that's what they do. I know it's f***ed up, but that's what these people do, man. Listen to how much money Cyrax thinks he's missing because he's actually insane. I can tell you right now that it would take decades to make that much money with the amount of subs he's talking about. But in all seriousness, in the last two years that I started making money and then losing money because of these people, With all the thousand sub channels that I've had. With all the other content that I've had. I've been losing out on almost over half a million dollars. A year. Because of these people. Over 15. Thousand sub channels. Down the drain because of these people. Think about that. Over 15 channels that had a thousand subscribers gone in a matter of minutes because these people don't want to see me succeed. And I know what you guys think. Well, how do you know? I did my fucking research and I did the adding. I combined everything together the ad revenue, the subscriber count, the donations. The Patreon that I had. The merchandise. Everything. Not to mention all the album and record sales I was doing at the time. But like I said, someone else would also go live at the same time. Restreaming Cyrax. For it. I'm, 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 I'm so you sorry. Do whatever you want to do with your life. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm muted. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right, I'm a little rusty. How's everybody doing? You're right. How much money I've lost out on in a year? It's going to be out of sync, by the you way, too. how much money I've been losing out, honestly, in a year because of these people? You really want to know the real truth? Is Gordon live? Oh, sh Didn't even realize. Cyrix's stream after that had nothing of note, so we're going to skip it. And we're also going to skip the rest of the CVG stream too, because he found it pretty boring as well. And you know what? That was pretty much it for this two weeks. Not as exciting as the part before this, and definitely not as exciting as the next one. But we're going to get there soon. As always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon. But wait, what's this? I've been putting this off for too long. At some point, I have to realize I just can't say I had a virus and not show up to every dinner. Hey, Dunham, What's up? Just here for the family dinner. Am I early? I don't see any other cars in the driveway. Nah, no, man. They all caught Brain and couldn't make it. Those idiots! Brain hasn't been able to infect a computer since like 1987. Is it too late for me to fake having something too? Come on in. So, do you have like, a TV or something? Nah, no, man. I don't believe in all that electronic stuff. You know what I mean? 
No, I don't. We are that stuff. Do you do anything around here besides just sitting in a beanbag chair all day? No. We've all gotten caught up in situations like this before, which is why now I never leave my home without a couple of decks of my LolCow trading card game cards anymore. Even if you don't have an interest in playing the game, they make for some great collectibles for both cows and YouTubers that normally wouldn't have any. Not to mention, these things sell out fast. So if you're interested in getting some of these limited edition holiday cards, or even a Cobes vs. Cyrax shirt, both of which I've purchased myself, click on my affiliate link down below and check it out.